Hi there everyone, my name is Karazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, episode 42. This episode was originally streamed live on June 15th, 2024. Please note that I did experience a recording issue during the first half of the stream, and so the first two episodes and maybe part of the third may not be in the same quality you're used to. I apologize for that and hope to have that sorted out in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the episode. Uh, might be at the edge here. If we're at the edge, then it's going to be worth digging manually. And we are, yeah, at an edge. Nice. I'll take it. And I can't reach that one either. Okay. All right, so we're going to wall off basically here things from spawning. Uh, we'll need to also wall this as well. Keep bells and uh, crawlers and things from coming at us. And then I'll just sort of finish it off right here. It's probably the best way to do it. Like so. Oh, we got something here. It needs to be walled off too. Goodbye. You're walled off. Uh, you can be walled off too. There we go. And that leaves us with just a little bit of space here where we'll have to be a little careful once we come back. But I think that's doable. Mostly. This will be trouble, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and collect our torches and let's start on our way home. I would happily mine out this entire thing in one go, but uh, you all might get a little bored. <laughs> so uh, let's get out of here. wall this off too. There we are. And here's our way out. Okay, uh, a little stuck. Let's do Oop, ladder there and a ladder there. Oh, and we have to make another turn. There. All right. Uh, I think we'll come back with a pretty full load of, uh, of iron here today. Bountiful lead. Very nice. Ah, sunlight. It's still calm. Not too shabby. Let's make our way home from here. Hey, Bun Bun. We can also upgrade our gray dye to black dye, which will be handy. And then we can write things. Oh, hello. Free copper. Some mature cassava, but I'm not up. Oh, we got a couple mature here. We got one, two. Okay. Not stupendously exciting. Oh, I hear goats. <gasps> goats. Goats. Someday. Someday, goats, I'll come back for you. Until that day. Await my arrival. Look to the east. And the sun rises in the eastern sky. Run. <laughs> When it, when it arises, run, because I'm going to come and uh, stick you in a box, and you're going to have babies, and I'm going to slaughter you once you're no longer useful to me, and turn you into meat and books. Goats are better than sheep. Are the goats actually better than sheep in this game? Like, as far as, like, mechanically? I would think they'd have less, uh, less meat and hide and stuff. And somebody asked if these respawn. They do as long as you uh, harvest these with right click rather than by chopping off the top of the block, top of the cactus. Yeah, they're really slow, but they do come back. I'm going to work my bedtime stories for the goats. Yeah. 
my bedside manner is not not the best. And we'll slide in and make some food too. Update our fruit and grain. Which I think we might already have a pot of like a hello. Oh yes. We are all mature. Okay. We have chores to do today. Alright, we're gonna put our bombs somewhere. Uh bombs are gonna go in here. That way if we accidentally set fire to the kitchen, uh we all die. A horrible death. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Alright, so this is a mineral. It's a sort of treasure mineral. We've got two of those. Nice. And we're going to put our extra small stones uh, probably in here, actually. And I did install Crateful. Uh, so supposedly... Uh... We should be able to interact with this by crouch right clicking. Let's see, S and N add all items. I think it's conflicting with carry on actually. Okay. Let's see. Nothing crouch and N. Okay, what if I just do this? Nope, nothing there. Oh, apparently if I <laughs> if I hold another item, I can then insert all the stones normally. Okay. A little clunky, but I'll take it. Oh, and this has no stones in it. Okay. So to answer the question about how much iron we got, we got, uh, let's see, let's line these up a little better. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight and uh, about two thirds stacks of bountiful hematite, which is eight bits or eight little ore pieces per chunk that we break which is amazing so that means that every every two and a half of of these is an entire iron ingot and we got some considerate too so very cool all right let's go and start setting up for bloomeries and i think for now We'll put them outside our little forge area here. Maybe like eh, no space here actually. Um, how about along this wall here? Let's do over here. So let's do. Let's see eight. We can do eight. Oh, they don't stack. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that. All right. <laughs> So there, and then there we go. And then we'll do eight of these. One, two, uh, I guess we'll do that. It could be cool if we could actually like grab this and click here to place it. I get that that's also throwing, uh, but it would be kind of neat. Oops, <laughs> just did it thinking about it. <laughs> and two more. There we go. To crush these with a hammer. And bam. Yeah, four stacks. Four stacks of uh, nuggets per stack of this stuff. You bet. I think there's there's a mod out there that I don't have installed. Uh, where you can just insert all these at once, which might be not a bad idea to install. Because we're going to be doing this a lot. A lot, a lot. Hello, Louis Velasquez. Vel Velasquez? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Like how I say Hamar. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose or anything. No, not me. I would never. Doesn't sound like me at all. Velasquez. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the pronunciation guide. 
hammer. It, it makes me think of like like Vikings. Me and my hammer, your Thor's hammer, rather than Thor's hammer. All right, we'll do about a quarter of these. We'll get us this full stack. And perfect, exactly what we needed. No extras. There we go. All right. And then we need some coal and some fire. Got the fire. And I think we're going to start with some black coal first. So we have more of that than charcoal. And charcoal will have more uses for us in general than black coal will in the long run. There we go. It might be worth also expanding or making a bigger tree farm. Are you in a light? All right, you are lit, okay. It used to actually like, you'd raise your torch when you were done lighting it, which I much preferred. Hello there, Fathan Farhana. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you. Hope you are too. Stop hammer time. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> okay. Excellent. We're moving up in the world here. Uh, big question is going to be, do I have enough room to store all of this? I don't know. Let's smash this into little bits. Just fill up that stack a little bit more. Um, I think I want to put the iron chunks in their own dedicated bin. We can do about five things here right now. One is we're going to put this away. We're going to tuck these in here. We're going to get a crate. Do I have any more crates? I think I do. Yes, here we go. Let's do that. And they're going to go in a crate right out here. Eh, we'll stack them up here. Why not? Oops. There we go. 432 bountiful chunks. Wow. All right. We can slip you back in here. And let's see. We can put our clay bricks down. And then we can upgrade our... Or continue working on our black dye. Look at black or gray dye. There we go. All right. And by the morning, we should have. By the evening, we should have some black dye for writing. All right. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is we need to harvest yawn flax. We probably should do a full crop rotation too. So. Let's get to that. Or should I say, let's get to it. You all missed that. I know Corazette doesn't. <laughs> she would roll her eyes every time I said that. Grab the scythe. No way. Waste the scythe on this? Not a chance. <laughs> Does rain put out bloomeries? No, it doesn't. I guess they're they're sort of covered enough. There we go. I guess I could use the knife though. Don't want to waste the knife stability. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Some of this. Yeah, so we got basically... Oh, we got 16 flax, 16 flax uh, equivalent from that. So that's not a bad harvest. Uh, that's still only enough for a single windmill with four sets of sails on it. We have plenty of grain. Oh, I need to make food, or at least uh, otherwise acquire food. 
And also, uh, we have a mod on. I think it's the Bricklayer's mod, someone said. I think we can plant Amaranth in planters. And I want to try that, because that would look gorgeous. I love the combination of the green and the bright pink. Like, it's just really good. All right. We could also check on our pineapples that we have growing over there. In Yawn Farm. We might have one ready by now. There we are. And let's go drop these things off before we try to collect any more. All right. Flax goes down here because it's junk grain. And then we have a little bit extra here. Oh, we have a bunch of rice that can restack too. Here we go. Perfect. It all fits. Hey there, Ginger Angel. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Let's see. Um, you have 13 string. So you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll make 16 linen. Drop that in there. And that gives us enough for one more piece of string. Or twine, I should say. And there we go. Let's go and harvest whatever's growing up here. I think it's peanuts and uh, onions. Not there. Oh, peanuts are still growing. Wow. Thanks. You guys take a while, apparently. I'm probably not going to grow many more peanuts, to be honest. Uh, they're not my favorite food <laughs> in the game. And they're... Why are you growing so slow? I thought they were, like, pretty quick. But I guess not. Got plenty of onions, though, which is nice. I think I'll just stick to onions. There we are. A few cassava. I don't really care about that much. Um, let's see. We have... Some raw poultry rotting. As far as food goes, though, I want to eat through this next. Wait, what do we have in here? Jam. Okay. Lone Star. Leave you there, and we will have some porridge. Fresh for five days in a sealed crock. It's never a good sign. All right, so I think what I'll do here is I'm probably going to... Honestly, I'm probably going to not plant any more amaranth. Uh, I might see if we have any more seeds... Their end crops. What do we have here? Okay, amaranth. Uh, you know what? Since it's going into winter, and it's only like 27 degrees out, I think we can get away with some cabbage. Uh, cabbage and... Ooh, pumpkin would be nice, too. But I'm looking for, like, you know, vegetable stuff. So yeah, cabbage. We'll do cabbage. And I think we can make a few pumpkin... Plots. Let's do four pumpkin plots for now. I don't have any turnip seeds. Turnips, I think, would still burn because it's 27 degrees. Maybe in, like, January. So, let's try some cabbage. We have, what, 12 of them? Let's stick them all over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12. Very nice. So, I guess I was wrong when I said we would never be able to plant cabbage down here. Let's get our flax in. There we are. And there we go. Let's go check on our pineapples. It might be worth making like a dedicated pineapple farm. 
because they use so few nutrients that you can just keep replanting them over and over again. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, during the tour stream, we did check out this uh, this hive here. And the way this works is you right-click it, you place it on the ground, and you, then you right-click with a knife, and you get two honeycomb out of it. So it's like it's less per um, less per harvest, but I think you're supposed to be able to harvest them more often. So that's, that's good to know. Oh, hey, a bit more flax has grown over here. <gasps> and we have a not quite mature pineapple plant. Okay. I'll take the flax at least. All right. This farm will soon be ready to be retired. I think I want to plant the pineapple like up in here somewhere. Isn't nighttime absolutely freezing? It should be. It, in real life it is. In vintage story it's not. All right. Ooh, we are full up on grain here. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll refill the birds. Let's feed over here. And then we'll also do the pineapple that I promised. So we'll grab four of the four of these. There we go. And we'll just plant them so we're out in the desert. They don't have to go anywhere. And we'll, we'll tear this down momentarily. Uh, this is where I made some arrowhead molds and fired them. Lucky Slevin7, hello, hello. Do you think uh, Tyron will ever make us be able to be lefties in game? I don't know. I've been bugging him about an issue where uh, some of the keyboard commands are for righties only. And I haven't gotten any traction yet still, so we'll see. I suppose. Now, someone said you can squeeze honey right into barrels. Oh, nope, I can eat it apparently. <laughs> That's going to be a no. There we go. Whoops. Okay, fine. There we go. Oh, sandstorm time. Look at that. I think it's been a while since we had a sandstorm, hasn't it? Like, we've had pretty good visibility for quite some time now. Wow. That's rough. Alright, so we got to make the bombas, find the iron, bomba the iron, bloomeries. Those are all checked off. And make the notebook. There we go. Excellent. I think it's time for that we should start doing some trading now. After I put away... Actually, after I plant the pumpkins, like I promised. Pumpkins. Uh, we'll grab these out of here, too, while we're here. I figured eight arrowhead molds should be plenty. I should have gotten some sand to refill this, but it will. And I think we're just going to... like. Drop some blocks out here. We will need, of course, some water. So we'll do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, they can go five in each direction, right? Or is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then here. And then I guess we'll go... Yeah, we'll go this way. Probably just fill that back in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tuck you there. Sorry, cactus. Wasn't me. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one here, then. That should give the maximum growth area. And rabbits don't bother pumpkins, so we don't have to worry about... Fencing these in. And let's go ahead and tear this down. I'll probably just rebuild this somewhere else. Or making more fire clay bricks. Which we will need very shortly. Let's go grab our bucket and our hoe and some sand. That should be everything we need, actually. Snad. And the bucket is up here. And off we go. 
Also, let's uh, do as promised and let's refill these chickens' feed just to get this out of our inventory. And the rest of it, I'm just going to eat. Weird where those. I can see them on the map, but not on my screen. So there's that. And that should update pretty quickly, I think. What we could do is put this down first, see if that actually hydrates instantly. Hey, it does! Look at that. All right. In which case, since we have the farmland drop soil mod on, fixed. All right, so water first, and then we can actually hoe it. There we go. And away we go. Nice. Of course, once we have the olive trees going, we won't really need to worry about vegetables. But that won't come until next year, I don't think. <laughs> Eating raw grain sounds like a sensory, sensory and culinary nightmare. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to fill in those sand bumps. Let's go do that real quick. Boop, grab the sand. That was right here. I didn't realize that I was digging out eight pieces of sand and then replacing eight. There we go. If I had, I wouldn't have grabbed those. All right. And it's not quite time for this to be done. We have two more hours. So, let's think about what's gonna happen next. Arrowhead molds, I don't need them right now. Uh, we've still got almost a full stack of arrows. And the the one nice thing about the Bullseye mod, I think it's the mod that does this, the break chance is significantly lower than in vanilla. These would normally have, I think, a 12.5% chance to break for each shot. And that's each shot. That isn't shots that hit. That's each time you shoot, which I'm not a wild fan of. Um, Let's see, where to put these? Somewhere that's not super ugly, so I guess against a wall here is fine. are. And then put our seeds away. Let's get those out of here. So amaranth and... Oh, onions need to be planted. Let's go plant those somewhere. Did I goof? No, I didn't. I was going to plant these on the other side. I figure we haven't planted anything here yet, so may as well. You know what? I'm just going to grab this grass. Every bit helps. All right, and then nine. Nine onions. And drop you off. Okay. Oh, and drop off these guys, too. So there's that. Drop you off. A little bit more of that. And now we're back to a normal inventory. Excellent. Yeah, more horsetail. <laughs> All three of them. Got so many. Um, I think what I want to do right now is I want to make good on that promise to build another lantern. Um, and what I think I want to do is... We can actually use this to, um, I think we can. We can make silver leaf, supposedly. We have two of these and a hammer. Can I smash that out? I can, a sheet of silver leaf. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna make a lantern, uh, except that I don't have any glass. 
But I do have some clear quartz. There we go. That's how we do it. All right. And we're going to make a... Uh, well, I was going to say... Here we go. We have lead here. Oh, we need even more lead. Okay. Let's go grab some lead in the dark. We'll just mine out like one of these things here. And we're going to make a Molybdo Chalcos Lantern. Return of the Chalcos. And that way we'll have some nice bright light. Uh, I still can't see anything. <laughs> I can seriously see like a, a line of clouds rising in the distance. And that's about it. Everything else is just a surprise. Alright, let's dig down here. Good, it's not at the surface. No one likes surface under a desert. Hey, it is medium. All right. Not that it really matters. There's so much over here anyway. Just mine this bit of lead out, and then we'll go back and make our first, our first lantern to be held in the hand. Can you make pure gold or silver lanterns? You can. Uh, you're actually better off buying the gold ones because the luxury goods traders can stock them. Um, but you can. I don't think the silver ones look very good, to be honest. They're a little too, like, white. Um, they don't look like they're metal. They look like they're made of paper. But, like, very shiny paper. Magazine paper. Didn't I get a lantern? There's a ruined lantern down there. But the other thing is that the, the silver and gold leaf, which is from a mod, doesn't work with existing lanterns. You have to make them you have to make the lantern with the leaf at the time that you make the lantern. So we gotta start fresh anyway. May as well. And do we have any more Wow, we don't. It's a very weird shape. Okay. Any more this way? There we go. Hello there, Blue TJ and Girish Manjanath. Good to see you guys in chat today. Oh yeah, Meteoric Iron Lanterns. That, that is definitely a, a certain flex. <laughs> I think we might, we might spend some time getting some uh, Meteoric Iron at some point as well. I mean, we kind of have to. There's so much of it around. It would be remiss of me. Do not do that. And, oh, we got one more. Two more. Three more, like I said. All right. I think we're good here. Anything this direction? Nope. Nothing this direction. All right. Let's hop our way, our way out of here. Our way. Hop our way out of here, Sean Connery. And we're going to drop this there. Drop you there. And no one knows we were here. Kitty Cat finds so much meteoric iron that you use it for lanterns in your sky clouds build. That's pretty cool. That's a cool idea. And yeah, like, they are everywhere. I've had people ask me in the different uh, guide series, how do I find so much meteoric iron? It's just knowing what to look for in the landscape. Um, and also just stumbling across it in the desert. Bomp, 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 bomp. To you too, sir. To you too. All right, so I'm going to probably just hammer this rather than hammering this down, chiseling it down. Uh, I already have a hammer. Neat. So we need, uh, let's see. From a little bit of Chalcos, we want 8 to 12%. 
But we're only making two ingots worth, so we're going to probably hit the 10% mark more than 12%. I think. Yeah. Alright, so... That means we need just a few pieces of copper ore. Just smash that out entirely. Alright. So, the crucible. And then we should have... Here we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if we add one more, it would go over. So, nope. 36 and 4 it is. I sound like the Pink Panther as a pirate. <laughs> Swedish pirate. All fear the Pink Panther pirate. Especially the Swedish one. That's up. There's some more crocs we can do, too. Let's do those while we're here. As well. Let's fire those up here. That way I can stop tripping over them. So we will need some grass. We have the sticks. And we'll grab some wood then, too. Oh, I can't. There we go. And there we go. You made all five anvils out of meteoric iron. That's a flex for sure. I've kind of wanted to do like armor out of it. Uh, the only hard part is that like it's not like it's better than iron, but only barely. And it's not better than steel. In fact, it's a it's a lot worse than steel. Uh, it's also worse in many ways than the treasure armors are. Oops, no, put those back. There we go. Got some sandstone. We will also need a candle. Oh, we have three already. There we go. One of these has sandstone. You have sandstone. Oh. So I'm passing by this. I wanted to see if it is true that we can just plant amaranth in these pots here. So you go there, and you go there. Amaranth, hello. Uh, don't know how we would do that. Ingredient for small amaranth plant. Okay, how do I do that? Ah, okay. I have to turn it into its own plant first. I can do that. So it's medium. Let's see how these look. And I wonder if we can just plant these like on the ground too. Oh, we can. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love it. I think it's a little bright for being out on the sand because everything else is so drab, but like in a planter inside somewhere. That's kind of nice. I like that a lot. Of course, now I have a new stack of flowers that I really can't, can't afford to have right now. All right, so we need our tongs. I almost, I didn't forget. I did not forget the tongs. Not at all. And let's go and we'll pour these out. There we are. And those need to cool. So I think while they're cooling, it might be worth it to just sleep through the night. Maybe we'll tuck this here. Oops. There we go. Perfect. It's just a squished model, it looks like. <laughs> Let's see, is there space for another uh, pot somewhere? Can I put a pot, like, precariously perched here? I can. There we go. Perfect. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's sleep. We'll get our, uh, 
our ingots to cool, and then we can make our lantern. Tonga time, yeah. You made your first mods that you can turn your meteoric iron into steel. That could be cool. It's better if you had like a like a meteoric steel. Granted, I guess once you've processed it enough, like it, it kind of like stops having whatever properties make it special as meteoric iron. Grab you, grab you. It's fire time. That's right. Pots placed precariously perch on posts. By Dr. Seuss. Alright, so we gotta be careful. I gotta make sure not to, like, rush things and, uh, and forget to put this in. Okay, and we can use clear quartz. It specifies clear quartz. I hope we can use glass, too. I guess we'll find out eventually. Outer space steel. Yeah. I'm gonna hydrate while this is, uh, I'm also going to mute accidentally. I will hydrate while I am heating this up here. All right, hydration achieved. Meteoric iron is pretty much an, an iron nickel alloy. Oh, darn it. No, stay in there. <laughs> Don't right-click that. It's interesting. I mean, I, I believe it. Um, given how much we know that uh, a lot of meteorites are iron and nickel, primarily. And asteroids, too. There's a primitive composites in this game. By composites, do you mean, like, um, like textiles? Like, uh... There we go. Like varnishes and things? It's my hammer. It's in my hand. Let's go ahead and smash out another plate. Do do do. Who doesn't love smashing out plates? By hand. The epitome of excitement right here. I guess it is ASMR. There we go. All right, let's just start pulling these down. Bismuth can be easy to get. Yeah, in an area with bismuth, it's pretty easy to get. I almost did bismuth lanterns in the... I think it was the first guide series. Uh, in the second half of it, when we were down in the south, I was thinking of bismuth lanterns. Uh, but then I ended up doing... Um, the... I think it was tin bronze lanterns in the end. They spoke to me more. Because lanterns speak... They speak to me in words. I'm not crazy. You're the crazy one. Bismuth is toxic? I don't. No, I don't think so. I mean, anything is toxic in large enough amounts, but I don't think bismuth is. Heck, it's in um. Uh, it's in a lot of uh, stomach medicines. In fact. All right. Let's see about this candle in a. Move to Chaka's Lantern with silver lining. Very nice. Okay. Wow. Look at that difference. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And if we take the backpack off, I think it gets even darker. Uh, which one has the lantern? This one. So the backpack is, is also dark if we take it off. But lantern on, you can see for ages. All right. That's what we wanted. Actually, what I wanted was this lantern's light on this backpack, but I guess, I guess we don't get that. Yeah, Pepsi Bismol um, is the is the medicine I was talking about. 
Okay, well this is going on for a little while. I think let's go turn our attention to uh, trading for linen. Now, these are done here. These are done. But I think we'll come back and do some more smithing after we do some trading. I'm in a very traderly mood right now. So let's see here. We have some gurs. Uh, we have a bit of leather. I'm going to keep the leather around though. Um, what do we have that people might buy? Oh, we know what we do have. And this is actually why I wanted this, is that um, trading is really facilitated by having somewhere to take notes. And that is why we have our book. Uh, that way we can be like, hey, this trader is has these for like six more days. So let's see. Survival goods. Uh, let's see. So he's buying a lime. Or he's selling lime. Sorry. He's buying bowls of honey, but that takes the bowl as well. Uh, so nothing that we really want to sell him here. If I had a lot of leather, I would sell him the leather, but unfortunately, no. Commodities. These guys can be cash cows because you can buy these cracked vessels from the treasure hunter traders and then sell them for like almost double sometimes. Uh, so, yeah. So here's what we'll do. Uh, can I... Right, I need this in my offhand, don't I? Ah, okay. Let's see, can I talk to you and then... Yes, there we go. Okay, so book title. Uh, trading. There's a notebook. Kurzar's notebook. And let's go ahead and we're going to do um, Oasis. We got four days, so I don't need to worry about the, the time. Uh, seed. Ten. Food, nine. And that's all I really care about, because these are not going to be really good. But write them down anyway. Food. Food, nine. Farming, seven or seven. There we go. Well, everyone, that's about all the time we have for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like or a comment below. But for now, my name is Ben Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.